Hey everyone, it's me, Asian Batman, back with another new video, and this one's about when to wake your ants up from their hibernation. Now, hibernation is usually one of the most stress-free times for ant keepers, um, simply because there just isn't that much to do. You know, you just pop your ants in the fridge, and every two weeks or so, you gotta give them a little bit of moisture. But compared to the usual hectic pace of like maintenance during the summer, for example, it's a lot easier. So when exactly should you take your ants out of hibernation? Well, as a general rule of thumb, what I do is when I'm walking home from school or just outside in general, I'll check around on the ground to see if there's any wild ant colonies that have already woken up. Now, if there are, like if I see ants foraging, then I know it's definitely time to wake up my um, ants in my home. However, this isn't always the best strategy since um, you might not have started their hibernation at the same time as the wild colonies did. However, it is a good general guideline. Specifically, I usually start at hibernation around the beginning of December and end it around the end of February. So that's around a three month hibernation time. Now, since this hibernation time is such an easy time in terms of maintenance for ant keepers, a lot of them, including myself, um, can be kind of reluctant to give up this easy life and don't really want to wake up their ants for hibernation because every, you know, when they're in hibernation, you don't really have to do anything for them. However, in my personal experience and in my opinion, it's better to um, wake up your ants from hibernation a little bit earlier rather than later. This is because um, the longer you hibernate them for, the more chances there are of things bad things happening like, um, for example, your ant starving or the brood dying. And while the chances of that happening are pretty small, I don't really think um, a shorter hibernation time is like really, it doesn't really have any negative effects on your colony. So yeah, I only hibernate my ants for three months max, just cause I'm kind of scared that bad things will happen during hibernation, um, knock on wood. Um, yeah, so stop playing Smashy Road and go wake up your ants from hibernation when the time comes. Thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did or if you found it useful, hopefully you subscribe and leave a like down below. Really appreciate the support. And if you have any feedback, comments, suggestions, whatever, well, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. As always, your feedback is really welcome and appreciated. Well, that's it for today. Bye.